me about this tour, man. Where are we? What are we doing? Well, we're in North Carolina now. I met up with Willie in Chicago a couple weeks ago, and or I don't know when that was. A week ago? Has it really only been a week? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> a week in like four lifetimes <laughs> in a good way. I really feel good. I have this like built up idea of what it's like to be on tour. Everyone just sees like the Instagram version of tour. And it's all like good meals and Photoshop, whatever. And, like, it's just long meditative drives and getting to the next spot and like digging down and finding the heart to play the show for real and then doing it again the next day. And, um, trying to find a place to rest. Yeah. <laughs> children there tonight. I'm glad you found Willie. Willie films well, real well. <laughs> I've had a camera on this whole run, and every day when we're in the van, I kick myself for not pulling it out yet, but I'm gonna. I have one too that I was gonna do the same thing. We've been talking about Yes, talk and drive. Last <laughs> night we were uh, coming out of this gig, and we stopped at 7-Eleven to get some smokes, and there was this beautiful woman sitting outside 7-Eleven. Willie went in and talked to the women working from the counter and they were chatting us up like, what are you doing? We pulled up and they, they, they like pegged us. They were like, you guys are not from here. You're some West Coast stoners or some shit. Yeah. Willie's like, yeah. And he's like, we'll play you a tune. And he went and just got his guitar and played for this old woman out front 7-Eleven in Charlotte. And Oh man, I, I can't even talk about it yet. It was just like this beautiful, like Willie played the most sincere, like just heavy tune. And there was a lot of tears and a lot of memories. And I just, yeah, there was like this moment where I was like, oh man, I'll, I'll hop on tour with, t with Willie anytime because stuff like this happens and it's just a magic thing to be a part of it. It was beautiful, yeah. I'm going first tonight, huh? Yep. Yeah. Keep the switch up going. Yeah, I don't like fall on that bastard there. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I don't think I can have a show, but it's just that I'm still processing this shit, dude. Like he takes me into these levels of like, God damn, dude. I'm like, I gotta play in five minutes. I can't keep playing the song every night. <laughs> His songs are yeah. these novels. It's like you're reading 10 novels and, and well, it's too much information and and it's so easy to process the way he puts the words together that they affect you just so hard and it's like one after another and it's like to go play my songs after that I'm still in the experience of Jeffrey Martin which is probably one of the neatest shows I'll ever see probably it's just amazing it's like like watching Steinbeck play or something in a way, you know, like just this immense processing and the way he does it is like nobody else. It's incredible. This is my life journey. It's, it's every hour, it's every day. And so the music, it heals me and it always has. Like I, I don't feel right if I'm not you know, meeting people I've never met. And that sounds weird because I have kids and I'm missing out on their time, on time with them, but I, it's something that's, I'm still trying to figure out why, why is this something I do? And why is it so perfect to me? Like there's always that question banging around in the back of my mind. You know, I love doing music, I really love it, but is, is there anything else I could do? Like, I wonder if I'll do anything else ever in my life. And now I just feel like this, this touring has been this big confirmation that it's just like nothing else makes, like hits me this way, nothing. So I agree. I don't fucking care how much money I'm making. I just want to do it. 
as long as I can put gas in the tank. I don't know. It's been a good, good perspective change. And I'm, I'm like going through a major life change. I read a story about a coal fire. All right, all right, all right, all right. Burned for 80 miles underground. Under rivers and across the state line. It's beautiful out here. Without a flame, without a sound. They burned a building and some fence poles. And they come up from the dirt into the sky. And when they interview yeah, the town, thank you, Travis. They said that hell was <laughs> on the ride. Yeah, nice. Are you Now I'm looking out the window. Do you mind if I take a portrait yeah. of you? Not at all. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking that white over there. Let's do it. Cool. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm scared out of my mind, oh no. I feel that fire creeping. Everywhere I go, always burns down. Everyone I love is trying to figure me out. And everything I knew, I buried underground. Underground. Yeah, yeah, man. Whenever. What is this? Spaghetti? Oh, I didn't see this. Look at that. Little saucy egg lives here. Ooh, asparagus in the sauce. Yeah, that's a big You can tell by this, somebody likes to cook, you know what I mean? So, how long have you been pursuing music? I don't know, that's a tricky question. I mean. <laughs> I made an album in like 2009, but it took until about 2015 to kind of realize that it's a thing I could do. What were you doing like with it? I was building houses for a while, and then uh, and then I taught high school English for a little while. Somewhere in there, I just I don't know. It was like like I was telling these high school seniors to like go chase their dreams and do what they want to do. You know? <laughs> yeah. And on the weekends, I was like flying out to play gigs and whatever. And it was like, oh shit, what am I doing teaching? Like I should... Chase my dreams. So 2015-ish, kind of took the full plunge and just been touring since then. Nice. Yeah. Amazing. Awesome. I saw a picture of a picture. Showtime. That reminded me of myself. Like a coal fire burning underground From up above it's hard to tell and You said that I could stay here Open my chest for just you to see All these acres of quiet fire That are burning down in me. How you feeling, man? Good. About five beers deep. Kind of loosen my tongue a little bit. Feeling free and fun. A lot of good people. A lot of good friends. Thinking about what to play tonight. Kind of just at a party with a guitar. Is there is there anything specific you're trying to? No, it's not. Yeah. That's uh, that's for me and you. You don't talk about that. This one goes out to James. I 
Hop to city, hop to city where it's fast and cold and I was alone with a million mountain people, little mountain people that didn't know my name and I wore my suit and I was making lots of money, making lots of money but it never threw my soul out, felt a whole lot richer with the cool breeze from the river it make a dollar shiver Poor boy's jeans and I hear them songs, those lullabies from mama, those lullabies from mama, this shine one golden confidence in the callous hands of papas, those callous hands of papas, he would wipe away my tears. There's pretty girls on every corner, on every corner, got somewhere to be in. Ain't got no time, no, they ain't got no smile. Got no smiles for a country boy like me and I. Walk right by and I'd smell the fancy perfume. Smell the fancy perfume, but they never smell like you. And we spend them days there underneath the oak tree. And that poem that you wrote me about the wind and the rain. And I brush your hair with the fingers that God gave me. I you would save me from never finding love. There's men that walk thousands of miles, millions of miles with their heads hanging down. When that sun don't shine, it's gonna shock you up your spirit. Shock you up your spirit, it'll hold you down. But them boys back home just dancing all night, kicking with guitars and banjos, picking them homegrown songs and fires with burning. Last forever, I always say last forever, cause Lord, I miss every soul. Going away, off to city, off to city where it's fast and cold, and I was all alone, making lots of money, making lots of money, but it never was my home. <laughs>
And I cried and let the day go I miss your breath on my shoulder I miss your breath on my shoulder Silver tongue with blood in my veins, a salesman with a dark flame. Nothing matters in the end, child. You're only here for a short while. The sadness is a blanket, the comfort in the chains. I wear when I am hopeless and too afraid to change. But she wrote a letter like a sculpture. And I cried and let the day go I miss your breath on my shoulder I miss your breath on my shoulder